Hi Fuller classmates, my name is Heather Gordon and I'm so excited to meet you virtually and start this journey together and learn from your all's experiences and lives and relationships with Jesus and yeah, I'm just excited to go on this journey together with you guys. Um, as I said, my name is Heather Gordon. I currently reside in Connecticut, but I've lived in a number of different places over the course of my life. Um, Argentina, California, uh, but I think my favorite and the one that holds a really special place in my heart is Hong Kong. And I do hope to move back there someday, but with the current political climate and the coronavirus and where God's calling me right now, we'll see if that actually ever happens. But the city is gorgeous and the people are lovely, um, so Hong Kong is definitely special for me. I did want to veer off of the questions just a little bit to give you some more background on me, but I'll come back to the questions, I promise, and I will try to make it really short. Uh, I am 24. I studied my undergraduate degree in religion and psychology at Pepperdine University in Malibu, which again was just the landscape there was stunning and I was super spoiled by the view. Um, but yeah, as I said, I currently reside in Connecticut and I work as a youth pastor part time for a Presbyterian church here. And I also work for a local nonprofit and I run their youth programs which focus on mental health and substance abuse and also philanthropy. So my whole world is basically absorbed by students and it's really an honor and a privilege to get to do life with them and be in relationship with them and you know hopefully bring some of my experiences and my relationship with Jesus into their lives. And so that's kind of the background that I'm coming from. And I'm really excited to continue to pursue seminary, especially in light of some of the work that I did in religion in my undergraduate degree. And so to that effect, I this is my second quarter at Fuller. So I'm still very much a novice and a baby in seminary, but one of the things that I'm really excited, especially about the New Testament, to kind of dive into this quarter, and this has been something that's been weighing on my heart specifically with the current political climate, which is super polarized in the United States, and there's a bunch of opinions on this specific topic. So I really want to dive more into what the role of women was in the church and how God uses them to not only establish his church, but to share the gospel with others. And yeah, so look at some of the lives uh, of women that were super important to the establishment of the church and see how those have affected how the church has grown and where we are today and how that should inform the church structure and the role of women in the church structure today. And so that's something I'm looking forward to exploring in the New Testament. And then lastly, really quick, something that I have experienced lately that wasn't school related, confession time. I am an absolute nerd. And so if you ever want to talk to anyone about books, I basically read every genre and can honestly talk about books for hours. My family won't go into Barnes & Noble with me anymore because I usually come out with like a stack of books that's higher than my head. So... I actually just finished today a book by Albert Podell, and he it, the book is called Around the World in 50 Years, and he's one of the few men in the world, it, perhaps the only man, I could be incorrect on that though, who has traveled to all 198 countries. Uh, so was really incredible, his stories. And then I'm also currently reading Everybody Always by Bob Goff. Love Does was such an incredible book, and I actually lived in San Diego for a little bit where his nonprofit is based out of and exchange some emails with him. We never got to meet up, unfortunately, but he's an also really talented writer that I love. So that's a little bit about me. I'm sorry this is so long, but I'll let you go on with the rest of your lives, and I'm excited to start this journey with you guys. All right, see you soon.